Hey, assistant narrator Richardson signing in. Still sounds weird. Uh, how fast can you type? I can type, I say medium speed. I'm not that great. I can get it done. I can type fast, but the amount of mistakes I make is unbelievable. Anyway, let's get started with this SCP, shall we? Item number SCP-6427. Restriction level, not applicable. Containment class, none. Disruption class, none. Risk class, none. Item number SCP-6427. Pending approval. Object class, Keter. Pending approval. Special containment procedures, undefined. Note, forward this to HCML rep. Description, SCP-6427 is the temporary designation given to an entity currently inside Site-324. The full extent of its abilities is currently unknown, but it is believed that SCP-6427 is capable of teleportation, abnormal feats of strength, and enhanced agility. Discerning additional abilities has presented several challenges due to the ongoing situation. SCP-6427 appears to be a pale grey creature approximately 3 meters tall. Taking exact measurements is currently unfeasible. SCP-6427 possesses irregular body proportions with some appendages extending over 2 meters further than others. I'll be cleaning up the description when the entity isn't breathing down my neck. I hope. SCP-6427 possesses mild antimimetic properties, which it theoretically uses in order to avoid description. As if anyone could describe a single creature for long, especially at this hour. Also, double check the meaning of antimimetic later. SCP-6427 was discovered after sightings of a hostile force inside Site-324 were confirmed on the 12th of the 10th, 2021. The entity proceeded to engage several members of Site Security, ultimately overpowering them and turning towards nearby personnel. This is probably off tone. Hopefully I'll be able to fix it later. The entity materialised inside junior researcher Michael's living quarters at approximately 3.56am. Bastard. Remove this later. And was subsequently restrained accidentally by a file describing it. A miracle, if you take into account the battery left on my laptop. Which Michaels had made in an attempt to communicate with any available member of site staff. I will never thank orientation enough after this. We all laughed at, if you see an entity lunging at you, use your last breath to document it. But I guess it's not always about being part of an undercover meat grinder with these people. SCP-6427 is thought to possess an aversion to written descriptions of it, which render it inert. Verbal descriptions and video logs seem to have no effect since the entity did not stop until I wrote its designation. When SCP-6427 is actively described in a document, it assumes a fetal position, although a pause longer than a second restores its ability to move. Note, I was willing to risk it for science. It's practically on top of me now. Although SCP-6427 could remain contained indefinitely, provided I find my power cord, by describing it, this method of containment is unfeasible, in part due to the- Oh god. <laughs> oh no, 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 please, this can't be happening. Come on, just give me a little bit longer. God. Please, please, I don't want to die here. I don't have a pen and paper either. Oh no. Oh god! No! Ah! And uh, it just says last active 560 minutes ago, and then the page lock expired. God, that's horrible. Wait, let me just check behind me. Ugh, thank God, I don't want to die here. I, I don't want to ever, ever come into any danger like that here. <laughs> thank goodness I'm just a narrator and not a researcher or anything. Oh God, that, that's... That worried me a bit. I don't want to really work here anymore, but I guess I have to. Anyway, that's it for this one. Goodbye.
Hey everyone, Creepy Otter here. I just want to say thank you to the author of this one, which is Fishish. Really good SCP. I enjoyed it a lot. And I hope you enjoyed it too, because I know the authors put a lot of hard work into their SCPs. So yeah, uh, anything else? Just uh, go check my description for my Twitter updates uh, and stuff like that. Also my Patreon if you want to see my videos early. And that is it from me. I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.